Number 11, Lindsay Savar. So I actually started playing um, with like T-ball and that was around when I was like five or six. Then around nine or 10, I trans transitioned to like actual softball. Sometimes I'd have to go from like right from a high school gamer practice to my travel practice. Um, and then the summers, it was constantly softball, like from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays, like in the hot sun, like softball was life for a few years. Originally, like, I think my parents just signed me up. I played basketball, like I said, softball, and I also did martial arts. And I think it was, I was kind of like a shy person. Like, I still am um, pretty reserved. And I think they kind of did that just to be involved in, like, a team sport. You know, it's not an individual, individual sport, obviously. So being able to, like, look over and turn your head and be like, you know what? I'm not even doing this for me anymore. I'm doing this for my teammate, my friends. Going my senior year of high school, I was like, you know what, I definitely am not ready to give softball up. And I'm definitely, as a senior in college, I'm still not ready to give it up. But um, that kind of really made me continue. There is a very clear offense and defense side. And I think a lot of players would agree that it's, sometimes it's hard to separate the two. Um, some, sometimes you're going to have a great offensive game, not a great defensive game, and vice versa. And it's about being able to come together and as a team and really if somebody's you know lacking a little bit on offense well then pick them up on defense maybe they're doing their job and then someone defense so there's just a lot of chances to help the team I think that's awesome I got into throughout travel ball I played short and third and then I got into high school and my coach you know my the first practice he's like go to third like that's it like you're a third baseman um and I said okay and I just I just ran with it hey wait wait go